Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to take a YouTube video and stick it on a web page. Now, if you've got a YouTube video you like, as long as they make it so that you can share this thing, so you can embed it in your web page. In some videos, you'll find you cannot do this because of the settings they set on the video, the person that created it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a video and we're going to go to uh, Dreamweaver. And with Dreamweaver, I'm going to just open up a web page and just literally show you how to paste it on the page, which is kind of cool. So let me go back. Find the video that you want to put on your web page. Scroll down a little bit. You're going to see a button called Share. Now, like I said, you may not be able to do this with every video. If I click Share, you'll see we get a link. Now, this link is just a link that will take you to this video page. You can do that. That's great. If you want to, you can click Show Options on the right and say, oh, I want it to be the high-definition video. I want to start it at a certain number or certain seconds in and even show a long link because some services require that. But this is only going to link to the page, not to the video itself, meaning you won't be able to embed the video. If we want to embed the video, if you come in here, you'll see embed. Click embed. Come down. You'll see you get the code right here. All we're going to do is basically copy and paste this into our code in our web page or your blog or wherever you happen to want to put this. Now, you'll see right here that by default, we actually have something called show suggested videos when the video finishes. That means when it gets to the last frame, it's going to show a series of videos that somebody can click on. A lot of people don't want that, so you can turn that off. What it does is it changes the code up here. You can use a secure link if you want to. You don't have to do that. Tell it to play in HD if HD is available. Enable privacy enhanced mode. That's something we don't really need to do. If you want to do it, you can. Click on the question mark here to find more about it. If you try and embed this, you try and take this code right here and copy and paste it into whatever you're putting it into, a blog, etc., and it doesn't work, it may require what's called the old embed code. If you click on that, you'll get the object and embed code right here. Now, just know this. The old embed code typically doesn't create a video, doesn't work on iOS devices like uh, Mac, like iPad and things like that. If you turn off use old embed code, the iframe is going to create what's called a, like a sort of like a sniff. It's going to determine what player it's playing on or what it's playing on and even play HTML5 or play the old school. Okay. Um, if we want to, we can change the size here. It automatically changes the code, like I said before. And we can even put a custom size in here if we want to. All right, I'm going to copy this. Make sure it's selected and just copy it. I'll go over to Dreamweaver. Find where I want to put it on the page. Let's say I want to stick it right here, okay? I'll go to Split Code View, and I can see right here in the code, that's where I put my cursor right below that heading. I'll just replace this. I'll paste. There we go. Now, make sure you've got Live View selected. I'll click on Live View, and you can even refresh it if you need to. Refresh. And if I go back to design and take a look and scroll down, you'll see there it is. Now, if I click play, it'll do it. It'll play in place. And there we go. All right. Now, a couple things we can do to make this better for ourselves if we want to. You'll notice it's got uh, some content up here, some information about the video. It's got like the YouTube icon. It's got the video, uh, the, the player bar showing automatically. It's not playing in HD. You're going to see there's HD right there. So what we can do is we can change this a little bit. I'm going to show you how to work with what are called parameters. So if I go back to code, now I'm going to kind of spend my time in split view here. So click on split. I'll go to the iframe here. You'll see there's the code. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit bigger for you just so you can see it. Sorry, it's a little small. All right. Now let me find the iframe code again. There we go. Now if you look in here, you'll see that, let me actually switch this. I'm going to switch uh, views. There we go. Make it a little bit easier for you to see. I'll scroll up. There. Now you'll see that we've got this iframe thing. We've got a width and height. You can change that, obviously. Keep its proportions, though. And you'll see we get this right here. This is the source. We've got all this stuff right here. You'll also see allow full screen and a couple things. Now what we can do is we can set our own parameters at the end here. Here's how that works. You're going to see like a, a question mark and then rel equals zero. And you need to get like an ampersand and then stuff and then this sort of thing. If you put your cursor after the amp right there, let me go over to the browser again. Oops, let me go over to the browser again. And I go to this page. If you search for YouTube APIs and tools, you're going to see what are called player, player parameters. 
Now, what we can do is we can change how the player looks and works. This is really pretty cool. And it's not that hard, to be honest. If I scroll down, you're going to see all of the player parameters are right here. Now, these are for the ActionScript 3 or the AS3 players. If you want to, you can tell it, show me the parameters for AS2. Those are the object embed ones and HTML5. Okay. You don't have to worry about that. Don't worry. You're going to see right here, we get things like autoplay. If you want it to automatically play, you can put autoplay in there and set its value to 0 or 1. So here's what we do. I'm just going to take autoplay and copy it. You can type it in too. It's pretty easy. I'll go back over to Dreamweaver. Put my cursor right here after AMP. I'll literally put an ampersand, paste autoplay, equals, and if we put 1 in there, it's going to automatically play. So if I go to Design View, take a look at it you're going to see it's automatically playing right now. So I'm in live view up top. That's live view selected. All right, let me go back to split and I'm going to stop it. Now you'll notice we have some information up here I want to get rid of. We also have branding on this thing where it says YouTube and the player shows up automatically. I want to get rid of that stuff too. So if I go back to the browser, scroll down a bit, you're going to see some really cool ones here. You're going to see controls. You can say, uh, do you want the controls to display? Okay, it, it won't display. It'll make it look like a Chromeless player. You can also do things like auto hide. It tells you if the video controls are going to auto hide. So I'm going to do that one. So I'll copy auto hide, go back to Dreamweaver, put another ampersand, go auto play equals one. You'll see it right there. Put an ampersand. And we just kind of list these. I'll paste it, auto hide equals. And if I put a one, it's going to automatically hide it, the player controls. If I go back to design view and take a look. Now it's going to auto play. That's the problem. But look, it auto hides the controls for me. That's kind of cool. All right, let me go back to split view and let me pause that. A couple others we can do that I think are really useful, really, really cool. You can loop it. You can put loop equals zero or one. And if you see right here, it's going to tell you setting a one will cause it to play again and again. This is one of my favorites. This is a newer one. It doesn't work with the older version of the embed code, but you can do what's called modest branding. I love this. It removes the YouTube logo. So if I choose that and set it to one, let me go over to Dreamweaver. Whoops. Once again, find auto height equals one. I'll put an ampersand, I'll paste equals one. I'll go to design view and let me hide the property panel here. And you can kind of see it a little bit more. It's auto playing. It's going to take a second here. It's going over the internet. Maybe. Let me pause it and then I'll play it again. And let me just hover over. You're going to see, if you look, no more YouTube logo down here. That's kind of cool. But if you do pause it, watch what happens. I click in the middle here and I pause it. You will see a little YouTube right there. Okay. Now we can get rid of this information too. So if I go to split, go back over to here to parameters, you're going to see we have like show info. I love this one. So I'm going to copy show info, go back over to Dreamweaver, find one of these. They don't have to be in order. So you can put it in here anywhere. Ampersand paste equals. And what we can do is put a zero to not show the info. Go back to design view. Now it's trying to play automatically. And you can see I, I must have messed something up here because it's showing the actual content there. Sorry, but it's taking a little bit. Let's let it play and show. And there we go. You can see it's gone. Okay. Now I must have hit something here with this. You always got to make sure that these are working properly. And show info equals zero and modest branding equals one. Now, this is the thing I always have to look at. Modest branding, it says, it says set the parameter to one to prevent YouTube blowing from doing the control bar. Okay. Note that a small YouTube text label will display in the upper right corner. So if you do hide, it's going to show the logo down here. If you hide the content up there, it's going to show this. So unfortunately. So anyway, there's a lot of parameters we can work with. A lot of things you can do. Really cool things. There's some example usages on this page, et cetera, et cetera. But if you want to embed a YouTube video, you can do it pretty easily just by copying and pasting. And you can kind of set a lot of different parameters for how you want it to show and even start to strip out some of the formatting and some of the things that show up automatically. So anyway, there you go. There's how to put a YouTube video on a web page.